This is a really short video to show you how branches in Git might be useful for you. So here we are in Visual Studio Code. We've got a platform IO project that's got a bunch of files and they're all in the main branch. Yours may say master, but mine is the main branch. And you can see that's the only branch I have. There would be others listed here if I had more. Now, what are branches for? You can get away with just using the main branch all the time, particularly if you just work by yourself and you're not working with multiple people on a project. But let's say I wanted to add some new feature to this program and I'm changing multiple files. Things could get out of control and it might be a bad idea anyway, this, this kind of new feature that I have a plan for. So I'd like to be able to try it in kind of an, a, a different area and uh, abandon that if I don't like it or if it works out great merge it back into the main branch so it's like um, like I made it in all those changes in the main branch in the first place so the way I can do that is uh, to bring up the command palette which is command shift P or control shift P on your if you're on Windows and just type create and you'll see create branch show up here I'll give it a name like uh, my fancy new feature you can see that it's renaming it to have dashes instead of spaces here. That's good for us. I'll hit enter. And now you can see what it's done is it created a new branch. Here's my list of branches now. Created a new branch and automatically switched me into that new branch. So uh, I could switch to main by just clicking or I can switch to my fancy new feature. And you can see everything looks the same because both branches have the same code. The same files are all, they're all the same. But now I'm in my fancy new feature and what I want to do is I just want to change all of my delays to six seconds instead of three seconds. It's a huge change that I'm making. Uh, I'm going to save and I'm going to go over here to source control and I'm going to commit my change. Now we use six seconds. I'll hit commit and in this branch that is the that is the timing. I'm up to date. There, there's nothing to commit. Everything's been staged and committed. If I go back to the main branch, you'll see that the same file has three seconds like it did before. So um, let's say I really like this feature. Well, let's say I don't like this feature. One thing I could do is I could do command shift P and just delete branch. It asks me which branch I want to delete and that would get rid of it. As long as I'm not in the branch at the time, I can do that. But I'm going to say I, I like this actually being a part of the program. I, I, this seems like a successful change. So what I'll do is in for while I'm in the main branch, I can again use the command palette and choose merge branch. It's asking me where I want to merge from. And if I choose my fancy new feature, it now became a part of main. So all of the changes that I made in my fancy new feature branch are uh, over in the main branch. So they are actually identical now. And maybe at this point I could go back and just delete my feature branch. It won't actually delete any files. It's just, that was my experimental world that I was working in. And now that's all merged into main. So um, I don't have to, I don't have to have that branch hanging around anymore. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is if I do control J or I guess command J on a Mac, uh, you can see we have all these different tabs usually uh, because we're in platform IO we have things like the serial monitor um, output uh, if we go to output we can see that actually there's a ton of different things we can look at here in, in terms of output and if we click on git it actually shows us all of the commands that Visual Studio Code used to accomplish all of those git things that we do making branches changing branches branches committing uh, staging all that stuff happens behind the scenes just using plain old git commands and for, for a lot of people that's just how they use git is by typing in the commands uh, instead of using the GUI but it's kind of nice that uh, Visual Studio Code makes it sort of easy to work with hopefully that helps good luck